Since 1878, observers have been keeping a detailed record of their observations of the Great Red Spot. In a recent study, a group of researchers looked at historical data and combined it with information from recent space telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the Voyager. Do you want to know how deep Jupiter's Great Red Spot storm is? Well, the Juno spacecraft has just released new evidence that gives us a better idea of the depth of this massive storm. Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel Beyond Unknown where you can find everything related to space, science, and extraterrestrials. So stay with us until the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. In spite of the fact that 96% of Jupiter's mass is not solid, the chemical composition of that mass behaves like a solid body. It's fairly remarkable to think that the majority of the world is made up of a concentrated blend of molecular hydrogen and metallic hydrogen. However, this is not the end of the data. For decades, no one has been able to figure out the extent of the cloud systems or the chemical makeup of whatever may be buried beneath them. The well-known astronomer Galileo Galilei made the initial discovery of the stripes of storm systems of Jupiter 400 years ago, and ever since then, scientists have been attempting to decipher their meaning. Due to the fact that Juno performs a near flyby of the globe once every 53 days, its scientific equipment is able to collect some astounding data from close proximity. According to Dr. Luciano Less, who was a co-investigator on the Juno mission, gravity measurements by the spacecraft have shown that the planet's gravity field shows a north-south imbalance. This asymmetry is comparable to the asymmetry that was seen in the zones and belts of the planet. The observable eastward and westward jet streams on Jupiter are also asymmetric as viewed from the planet's north and south poles. The greater the depth of the jets, the greater the mass that they contain, which results in a bigger signal being expressed in the gravity field. In light of everything that has been discovered, it should not come as a surprise to learn that Jupiter's atmosphere is composed of a layer that is both thicker and more extensive than anyone had previously believed. The weather system extends for around 1,900 miles, which is approximately 3,000 kilometers from its very top to its deep and comprises approximately 1% of Jupiter's entire mass. The following provides some context, which may help put that into better perspective. On Earth, the mass of our planet's atmosphere is significantly less than one millionth that of our planet itself. To put that in perspective, the mass of Jupiter's atmosphere is equivalent to that of three Earths. That's a tremendous amount. The massive storm known as the Great Red Spot on Jupiter is significantly more profound than was anticipated. The Juno spacecraft from NASA is providing a deeper understanding of Jupiter's wondrous and violent atmosphere, including Jupiter's Great Red Spot. The data from this spacecraft has found that this enormous swirling storm extends much further down than was expected. Based on microwave and gravity measurements obtained by Juno, researchers stated on Thursday that the Great Red Spot plunges between approximately 200 and 300 miles below the cloud tops on Jupiter. The data are providing scientists who are researching the solar system's largest planet, Jupiter, with a three-dimensional account of Jupiter's atmosphere. Jupiter is so large that it could fit 1,000 Earths inside of it. Hydrogen and helium make up the vast majority of the planet, with only trace amounts of the other gases present. This type of planet is referred to as a gas giant. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and has a diameter of approximately 88,850 miles. Stripes and a few storms like the Great Red Spot dominate the colorful appearance of Jupiter, which has a diameter of about 88,850 miles. The Great Red Spot is a storm churning in Jupiter's southern hemisphere that is approximately 10,000 miles wide. It is distinguished by its crimson-colored clouds, which rotate in a counterclockwise direction at high speeds. Even though it has been around for a long time and is considered one of the wonders of the solar system, scientists have only recently begun to scratch the surface of their understanding of what lies beneath the surface. According to Scott Bolton, the principal investigator of the Juno mission at the Southwest Research Institute in Texas and lead author on one of the two Jupiter studies published in the journal Science on Thursday, from a scientific point of view, it's puzzling how the storm can last so long and be so big, said Bolton. The studies were published in the journal Science. Marzia Parisi, a Juno scientist from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California and the lead author of the second study, stated that it is wide enough to swallow the Earth. 
Scientists were able to look beneath Jupiter's cloud tops and investigate the structure of Jupiter's numerous vortex storms, including the Great Red Spot, thanks to a device known as a microwave radiometer. Their findings revealed that these storms exist very deep in Jupiter's atmosphere, which is significantly deeper than was previously believed. The Great Red Spot is not confined to the uppermost parts of Jupiter's atmosphere. Rather, its roots extend to regions beyond where water condenses and clouds form and below where any sunlight reaches. This means that the Great Red Spot is much deeper than previously thought. Previous data collected by Juno demonstrated that jet streams in Jupiter's atmosphere extend to depths of approximately 3,000 kilometers. According to Bolton, previous assumptions and models developed over the past few decades gave the impression that the Great Red Spot was a storm that was relatively shallow. These assumptions and models were based on how the atmosphere of Earth behaves. Jupiter works in this mysterious way that we're sort of revealing for the first time, Bolton said, adding that this is the first mission that's been able to look inside the planet, and we're seeing surprises. Jupiter and Earth are not only vastly different in size, but also in virtually every other aspect as well. The planet Earth has many rocky areas. Jupiter may have a solid interior core, despite the fact that its surface is not solid. Since 2016, Juno has been in orbit around Jupiter, gathering data about the planet's atmosphere, interior structure, and internal magnetic field, as well as the region around Jupiter that is created as a result of Jupiter's internal magnetism. In addition to this, Juno is scheduled to investigate the smaller rings that surround Jupiter and will fly by Jupiter's large moons Europa and Io. The Great Red Spot has changed its appearance over the course of time, and there is some evidence to suggest that it is becoming smaller. This is the most powerful storm in the history of the solar system. There is nothing else on the market quite like it, Bolton said. Generally speaking, the extremes are fascinating. However, they also create incredible beauty. Around 4.5 billion years ago, when the rest of the solar system was still in the process of forming, Jupiter took shape when gravity pulled together swirling clouds of gas and dust to form this gas giant. Jupiter absorbed the vast majority of the mass that was left over after the formation of the Sun, and as a result, it now contains more than twice as much material as all of the other bodies in the solar system combined. In point of fact, Jupiter is composed of the same elements as a star, but it did not amass sufficient mass to become active. Jupiter moved to its present location in the outer reaches of the solar system approximately 4 billion years ago. At this distance, Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.